How can it already be a year? So no, it doesn't feel like it's been a year. A tough milestone in Howard County this morning marks one year since Deputy Carl Kuntz was shot and killed while serving a warrant. Our Matt McCutcheon is here with how the fallen hero will be remembered later today. Hey Matt. Good morning. He not only served there with the Howard County Sheriff's Department, but also served as a student resource officer. And today students at the Northwestern Community School District will honor him by wearing blue shirts. As for his widow and young son, it's still one day at a time. I'm still in the shock mode that some days I think that he's coming back home. Cassie Kuntz is raising the couple's young son. Noah was seven months old when his dad was killed. He's now 19 months old, growing up with the memories of his father and his legacy. He's a miniature of Carl. His facial uh, features, his attitude, his personality. Um, I have a miniature Carl. On my phone, I have a picture of Carl, and I'm like, give Daddy kisses, and he'll give him kisses on my phone. Um, when he sees the pictures um, that I show him, he'll say, Dad, 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 Dad. Deputy Carl Kuntz responded with another officer to a Howard County home one year ago today. The suspect shot both officers. Sergeant Jordan Buckley survived and recovered. The Kokomo FOP today is asking the community to join them in a moment of silence at 1110 this morning to honor and remember Deputy Kuntz. Then at 1 o'clock this afternoon, the Indiana House of Representatives will also have a ceremony. Then tonight at 545, there will be a balloon release, and the public is invited to this at Albright Cemetery in Kokomo. That, of course, is open to the public. The public did so much for the family and the law enforcement community when everything happened just one year ago. Hard to believe a year mm -hmm. has passed. I know. And Matt, did Cassie talk at all if, if little Noah, when he grows up, decides to be a police officer, how that may affect her or the family? She said on the one hand, he's either going to be pushed far away from it and want nothing to do with it, or on the other hand, he may just love it and mm -hmm. really want to get involved and be a part of it. She says it will be bittersweet no matter what he decides. She'll be proud of him and support him. We have much more of Scott Swan's interview with her on WTHR.com. All right, Matt, thanks so much.